Hey, good afternoon everybody. I'm going to do another slow cooker recipe today. Today I'm going to make goulash. Now for this, uh, you need some cheap meat, which is nice. I have blade steak here. I prefer getting this instead of stewing meat. It actually works out cheaper per pound. Uh, plus you can pick out the parts you don't want if there's any really nasty bits. So I just get a big tray of this. This is about three pounds or so. Uh, I get a pound of mushrooms. I'm going to wash and half. Uh, a couple of big sweet onions, one green pepper. Uh, I got some nugget potatoes that I'm going to half after and put in to help thicken it up near the end. And for seasonings, I've got some dried garlic. If you want to use fresh, I'd use two cloves. Some Worcestershire salt and pepper, and some paprika. Now, for the paprika, I have found, I mean, this is an individual taste thing. Uh, don't put it in at the beginning. I'm going to put it in about halfway through, more near the end because I find the flavor comes out better than if you put it in right at the beginning. So first thing to do is get the uh, vegetables prepped. Once the onion's in, sprinkle on some garlic. Salt. Pepper. Bit of Worcestershire sauce, couple of shots. Cut the pepper in half. Pull out the seeds. Now for this one I do want a slightly smaller dice than the one yesterday. Yeah, so cut them in pieces about that big. Next, uh, give the mushrooms a quick rinse. And I just like to keep them in halves. Halves or quarters work for this, depends on the size of the mushroom. Next I'll get the meat ready. Uh, one thing I did forget yeah, so the later seasonings are going to be the paprika. I'm going to put the tomato paste in right now with the meat. And when I put in the paprika, I do have some nice uh, organic bouillon cubes. I'll put in a couple of those just to add some flavor. And I'll wait till halfway through the cooking to wash these and just cut them in half and put them in. Now, for the steak, you want to trim it, but not that much. If there's excessive amounts of fat, uh, you want to take that off. But for here, like these connective tissues here, that's part of what makes the stew and the flavor and the thickness. So you definitely want to leave that in. Now this piece here, I am going to cut off. And any kind of nodes like that have knots in them like that where it all comes together. Yeah, you want to take that out. And that piece there. So what you do, if you're not used to working with meat, is just kind of cut around it. And then just cut it off. Now it looks pretty well clean. This is good connective tissue here that is going to add uh, flavor and texture to the stew, so I'm going to leave that in. And again, with this piece, yeah, so that's good there. 
that will come off. That's good. Just that little bit off. And if you do compare the prices per pound or per kilo, you'll be surprised at how much more they charge you uh, to cut it up instead of you doing it and you still end up having to trim it anyway so yeah this one's got a big vein in it right there so that part is going to come out and likewise there's a big lump of fat right there you want a bit of fat in this but not too much Okay, so all of the meat has been trimmed and added. So now I'm just going to put the tomato paste on top. Uh, it's been a little over two hours. It's the nice part about slow cookers, if you get lost doing something, no harm, no foul. That's starting to smell really, really nice. Gee, too bad I wasn't left-handed, eh? You guys got way better shots. Sorry about the arm in the, in the shot there. I'll have to hang on this one of these days. Okay, so mix all that in. So you get the tomato paste down in there. And that what you want to do is, you can see how thick that sauce is already. Let me see if I can get a better angle in. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So you can see how the sauce is starting to thicken up already. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get those bouillon cubes mixed up in a little bit of this. Now I use these organic ones because they don't have any MSG in them which I really like. And they're pretty tasty too. So add some of the broth. Oops, there's a green pepper oil. And just mash that up. And once that's dissolved nicely, once that's dissolved nicely, just toss it all back in the slow cooker. So get the nugget potatoes in a strainer, give them a good rinse, look them over. If there's any funny looking ones, take them out. Any bad bits, trim them off. These look pretty good. And then what I do is I just cut them in half right in here and then toss the whole thing in. If you don't cut them in half you don't get the starch effect because it doesn't magically go through the skins. Okay. So once those are all cut up toss those in. And the last step is to put the paprika. Now what I like to do with this is get that same bowl you were using for the broth take out some of the liquid again
and then mix the dissolve the paprika in the liquid before you put it back in it'll mix in better I put in a couple of tablespoons and a bit more If there are any lumps, they should dissolve in the stew. But it's just easier rubbing them out in the bowl here than it is chasing them around the uh, slow cooker. Okay, that's looking good. Put that back in. And I'll use a spoon here. A little more solid than the strainer thing I've got. Yeah. So you can see from the potatoes what a nice color that's going to have when it's cooked. So just leave this on low, put the lid back on, let it go for another hour or two. So it's about another two hours, yeah it's cooked. Let me just get in there, give it a stir so you can see. Yeah. Potatoes are tender, the meat is cooked all the way through, and if you nudge it you can see it's starting to fall apart, which is the way it should be for a stew like this. So you can just have that as is, um, you can have it with bread, you can cook up some egg, white egg noodles if you want. I definitely always put a bit of sour cream on this after, I just like it like that. So there's my slow cooker goulash. Thanks for watching. I hope you try this. See you again.